So when the first Sonic movie came out, obviously your boy was a little excited because he was happy to finally see the blooper on the big screen and we, the f movie actually released in 2020. And honestly, it was an okay movie. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't that good either. Then I saw the post credit scenes and I was like, okay, we got a game accurate Eggman, we got Tails, let's see what we got. And boom, two years later, uh, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2 comes out and honestly the trailer looks so good, the trailer I reacted on my channel and I was really hyped for it, I, you could have tell by my reactions and guess what, I was right to be hyped for this movie because it was really good, one of the most game accurate movies ever, like Uncharted came out in the same year as this and Uncharted wasn't even close to the caliber that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, it did everything right, it did the action right, it did the characters right, yeah sure the wedding scene was a little bit taking too long but this this movie was really good and I can't believe that people actually hate it some people actually hate it but they don't know this is the best game adaptation movie that we have ever gotten or at least until the Mario Bros movie came out but yeah this movie was really good at the time it came out so obviously when I saw the shadow post credit scene and I saw that there was a knuckle show in development your boy was hyped so there here we are two years later the knuckles tv show is finally out and then also a trailer i reacted to on my channel was i exactly happy for this show not at all i really did not care for knuckles since he is not my favorite sonic character but i was invested because i realized that jeff fowler does a great job at respecting the source material because as long as you're respecting the source material the fans should be happy a knuckles series that doesn't spend any time on knuckles it's like Archie all over again. At least there aren't any Nazi echidnas this time. I agree. When the show was about Knuckles, it was great. When it was about the other guy, no offense to the actor, the material he was given didn't work. It's kind of like the Godzilla MonsterVerse movies where they focus more on the humans rather than Godzilla himself. The majority of the Sonic fans hate this show. If you've seen the internet, you've already seen that people do not like this show at all. And we see Knuckles doing this warrior stuff and basically he gets grounded because he took it too far. This is on, This is the best episode in the entire series. I'm just going to say it from now. This is the only episode that's really good and makes me want to rewatch it. You know, like, it was really that good. They saw us, Knuckles, they showed us Knuckles digging, he built a little temple in the house, this cute little thing. And then after he gets grounded, for some reason, um, his master from the Sonic games, I can't pronounce his name, but he comes and gives him a reason. So I'm just going to say this from now, so far the beginning of the episode is doing very perfectly, very fine, until this scene. Right here. Wade Whipple. I know this man. He's no great warrior. He seeks to compete in a tournament of champions in a mystical place called Reno, Nevada. A lot of people have to understand that the budget of a movie is going to be really high. But the budget of a TV show it ain't gonna be that high, bro. It's like, bro, you could have gave us a way better storyline to follow with Knuckles. The bowling thing just did not connect with me. But I just let it pass because it's a TV show. It's not meant to be this high budget, climactic thing. So I was like, all right, whatever. So now, as a Sonic fan, I forgot Knuckles can glide, bro, because he never wants to glide in the trailers or in the Sonic movie. So I did not expect him to glide here, but. He glided, he even did a little E.T. reference for some reason. I don't know why, but this man was like literally soaring. And I was like, bro, what? And the drop in quality doesn't seem to stop because here we are in episode four where Wade gets kidnapped. And we don't see Knuckles for the entirety of the episode until the ending. When people are saying that this is not Knuckles' show and this is Wade's show, you're wrong. I'm gonna tell you that for now. You are 100% wrong. And this episode's proven. You see, in this episode, after Wade gets captured, he goes into this paralogic shock and he actually has this dream about him well going through Knuckles' backstory because they didn't have the budget to actually give us a real backstory, so they did it in the form of a skit. They even say it in the show. Here's where Wade gets his character development. Finally, he actually mans up, wakes up from the dream, beats his rival, steals his bike and his hat and his jacket. And him and Knuckles 
rides on into the sunset to get to his bowling tournament. So, honestly, this episode, I hate it when I first watched it, but when I really thinked about it, it's actually a pretty good episode because the only reason why Wade is getting better at what he does is because of Knuckles. And this episode showed us that he gets captured, Knuckles doesn't help him, and he escapes on his own without Knuckles' help. But in reality, it was Knuckles' help, just mentally, not physically, but mentally. And the, sh and the show tries its hardest to remind you that, hey, this is Knuckles' show. The only reason why Wade is here is because of Knuckles, and Wade is only alive because of Knuckles. The main character doesn't need to be there for it to like really feel like it's his show. All right, as long as you make his presence feel like it was there, that's enough. You know, it, it, you, you literally are just saying that this is still his show. And it was honestly okay, all right? It was like, whatever. This show reminds that this is still Knuckles' show. He meets his dad. Knuckles is the only reason why Wade talks to his dad, because Wade didn't want to talk to his dad. And then Wade finally talks to his dad. They have an awkward interaction. Wade wants to get reconnected with him. The mother does not want to reconnect. Then they go to the bowling tournament, and well, Wade obviously destroys everyone, the dad destroys everyone, and they have to 1v1 literally the day after. The dad has betrayed them, has betrayed his own son with having his sis and his mom tied up to chairs. I was like, bro, I totally saw this twist coming because the actor from this is actually an actor from Stranger Things Season 3, and he's always known for doing roles that's like good guy to bad guy, so I wasn't really surprised. But I just, I feel like the twist is a little like predictable but it was still fine though and then we get the most climactic part the most the only part actually makes you want to get out of your seat in the entire show the bad guys has his family wade the only way for him to save his mom and his sis is to go and bring knuckles to get him executed by these two gun agents that came out of nowhere by the way in this episode we also did get more backstory about them which is not relevant since Spoiler alert, they die, so I'm not going to go into deep details about that. It's not relevant to Sonic 3, trust me. And yeah, we don't get a lot of Sonic 3 references in this, so it's like, whatever. And here are the gun agents about to shoot them, and well, they failed because Knuckles was listening the entire time. They had slick writing there. They left the air pod in his ear from episode 5, and I was like... I knew that Knuckles wasn't going to die because I saw the trailers, I saw how he survived till the end, but I didn't know that that was a twist they were going to use though, like they used the airport twist and I was like, okay, okay, this, this isn't character development, but it, it's a cute little detail for them to put there, it, it was like, whatever, you know, and the entire Jeff Fowler Sonic series, this is the best villain takedown he has ever done. When they shoot, when, when Knuckles, and it's a call at episode 2, when he gets captured in episode 2, is actually by the, the ring gun that the female gun agent had and then he shoots it to his feet and he falls into it that's how he got captured but in this episode she goes to capture him again and when she shoots he's like not this time and this man literally just punches the rings and since they're already activated the portals the portals are already activated it flings towards the way of the gun agents and it goes in separate corners and it just be be became its own pipe and then the gun agent gets entangled in the pipe they're just going like in circles and circles and circles until both the rings come together and collide killing them that was so cool after Wade beats his dad in the bowling tournament Knuckles is already getting his butt kicked handed to him and Wade jumps into the fight and here's where I was like hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up are we gonna get Hyper Knuckles or something? Because he has a Chaos Emerald, so are we gonna get Hyper Knuckles? You know, Purple Knuckles. But Wade grabs the arm from the gun engine and just starts throwing bowling balls at the bad guy. And that took me out of the show again, another missed opportunity. Like, Wade did not need to do that. You're just stealing the spotlight. They did the exact same plot in the first movie, too, man. After Wade wakes him up with this friendship talk whatever he gets the fist of fury and he just starts being the heck out of the buyer which was a bad guy and then Wade drops this giant ball on top of him and then the bad guy dies by the hands of knuckles obviously and that was a knuckle show 
Is it a good show? Yes, it really is. It's not well written, but it's really watchable. Is it a good Sonic show? Is not. We literally even get a Sonic Prime ending. After they fist pump, we get the black screen. What is it with 2024 products ending with a black screen abruptly? Godzilla vs. Kong 2 did this, Sonic Prime Season 3 did this, and Knuckles did it too. Why do editors think that this is so cool? This is annoying. We don't get an epilogue for the show or for anything. We have no idea what's going on. They only gave us two Easter eggs, which was the Keanu Reeves Easter egg that I mentioned before. And this Easter egg that happened in the last episode when they talked about an alien landing in the 1970s. Will Knuckles get a season 2? I don't think so because they're planning to make more spin-offs in the future. But I'm going to give Knuckles a TV show a 7.5 out of 10. I think that it's a valid show. Not a good show when it comes to source material and it's like as a Sonic show. But it's a good show on its own. You know, if you take out the fact that this is a Sonic show... It's a pretty decent show, alright? It's actually not that bad. So are you guys hyped for Sonic 3 like I am? And um, I can't for that show, but I honestly can't wait. So see y'all. Have a good day. Peace.